Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Hart with the Jenny Hart team at Keller Williams, here today with my friend and colleague Kyle Snyder at First American Title. Kyle is our stats guru and he just went ahead and did it. He called the Carbon Valley real estate market the market of the year. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about why. Um, Kyle and I just pulled some stats. There are, ooh, fancy award. <laughs> He pulled some stats. There's technically 61 homes on the market in Carbon Valley, 30 of which are new construction, not ready to be moved into. So we have 30 homes on the market today. I'm hopefully taking one of those off the market for one of my sellers today, um, which means we've got a severe shortage of inventory, which means this is a substantially exponential seller's market right now. Um, well, to qualify that, uh, Jenny, last month, uh, in a gigantic month of, uh, of sales out there, there were 96 homes that sold. If you only have 31 on the market right now, there's a third of a month of inventory. When we get under six months of inventory, uh, that's typically uh, a favoring the seller. You know, it's, we call that a seller's market. A balanced market is right in that six month range. And it's a buyer's market if there's more than six months of inventory. We have a third of a month. You guys hear that? that? A third of a month. <laughs> so, um, for sellers, what, what, what's what, what's in this for sellers? What can sellers everything. expect? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, if uh, you still have to have your home priced appropriately, there's some that have been sitting, and that means that they're not appropriately priced, they're not staged or presenting well, or there's not good marketing around it. Um, but even in this type of market, you still have to have all three of those things. You have to be priced for what the market can bear. You have to have your home, not necessarily professionally staged, but it needs to be presentable and tidy and looking nice when buyers come in. And you have to have an agent who's marketing it appropriately. There's still for sale by owners that are sitting for 30 days. So it's not as simple as putting a sign in the yard. Those are not selling. What does this um, mean for buyers? For buyers, yeah. Okay, interest rates are historically low right now. We're seeing anywhere from, yeah, 1.99 to 2.8. Kyle said he's closed some recently, two and a quarter percent. That is like free money. We've never seen interest rates, fixed interest rates nonetheless. This is not adjustable. This is not a fluctuating arm or anything like that. This is free money. So buyers have that advantage. If you were a buyer last year and you qualified for 400,000, Simply the reduction in interest rates will allow you to qualify for maybe 500,000 this year and keep your payment where that 400 was or even less. So you have much more purchasing power. You're not stuck at an entry level price point if you don't want to be and keeping that monthly payment comfortable. On the other hand, it is very, very difficult to compete right now. So you need an agent who works I think it's great to have an agent who works as both a listing agent and a buyer's agent because they know what the sellers are looking for. They know as a listing agent, this is what the offers need to have. This is the type of lender that we feel secure with. Um, so you need a reputable agent. You need to be prepared to go over asking price. You need to be prepared to concede a little bit. You're not gonna be beating them up on inspection because they have 13 offers waiting. Um, I listed a home a couple of weeks ago. We got 13 offers. We went $35,000 over asking at a $400,000 price point. They waived the appraisal contingency. They were willing to pay cash over the appraisal. They limited inspection objections. They closed quickly. They switched to my preferred lender because I didn't like the lender they were working with. So as a buyer, you need to have someone who's familiar with all these ins and outs. And today, today with the low interest rates, that's a, 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 a good way to do it. So you can buy that house and, um, you know, pay more, but still not, you're not paying more because interest rates are so low. Uh, our, yeah. our good friend, Megan Aller, uh, she uh, put uh, some stats together down in the Denver area. Uh, I was reading through them the other day and she said, even with the increase that we have in prices over last year and the decrease in uh, uh, interest rates this year, it's actually cheaper to buy a home today than it was last year at this time. That's insane. Yeah, that's that's insane. With prices going up. So again, here, if you need a word to the wise, buy a house, buy another house. 
buy an investment right. property. You know, I mean, it, with with this, it, it it all comes from a shortage of housing. Yeah, and, and you guys, and that's demand, and we don't have the supply, so it's not going right. to change anytime soon. Right now, Kyle's talking about purchasing investment properties. Right now, anyone who's owned a home for the past couple years, you have a ton of equity in your home that you probably don't even realize. I got an appraisal done yesterday. I'm waiting on the final number to come back, but I think I have a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars of equity in my home after three years. So that's unheard of. <laughs> I mean, this, I'm not in a million dollar house. I bought my home for four thirty. Um, so keep that in mind that. There's, there's ways to be an investor. Like right now, I could easily move out of my home, rent it for much more than I'm paying on a mortgage payment, and be able to move up or upgrade my home. So I don't necessarily have to purchase an investment home. I can move out of the one I'm in as an investment home. Then I don't have to put 20% down on my next home because I'm gonna be occupying it. So I have some creative ways to help you guys with that. Um, if you're scared, well, Jenny, you know, how do I list my home? It's going to be gone in a day. And if it's so hard for buyers, I'm not going to be able to find anything. Um, right now, because it's a seller's market, you do have a little bit of an advantage. We could negotiate up to 60 days on the back end for you to stay in your home. I have some clients right now who they're like, heck, if we get 10 grand over asking, we can pay up front six months of rent and be able to purchase a home non-contingent. So that's going to allow them to compete. They're going to be able to cash in in this crazy market, hopefully get over asking, which is additional padding for them to rent or stay in a VRBO. I know a lot of people don't like to move twice, but um, I'm highly recommending you cash out now. I certainly did on my, one of my investments. So. And then, um, you know, one of the things that we're talking about is a lot of people might be waiting. You know, we've just gone through a, a pretty crazy COVID lockdown and, you know, that's still not over with yet. And there's a lot of chatter out there and I see it on real estate uh, websites and people that uh, are convinced that there's going to be a wave of evictions and a wave of foreclosures. You know, granted, there are going to be some, but if you evict somebody that uh, didn't pay their rent, who are you going to get as a renter? I mean, the, 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 the people that are in the rental market, they have some kind of, uh, they typically have, uh, um, uh, you know, bad credit or something like that, that you're, you're not going to get a whole lot more. So you're just trading one for the other. And then when it comes to the foreclosure side, don't wait for those right now. You can't foreclose on a house. Anybody that's in forbearance, they've got up to four months and it's just going to get added on to the end of their loan. But you also have another four months to, uh, uh, that you have to be late before the foreclosure starts. And banks don't want houses. So they're going to work with you to do a mortgage, a, a loan modification to keep you in that house that you have to go through that process anyways. And then like back to your point, Jenny, about the uh, equity. If these people have been in their house for a couple of years, they have equity and they're not going to just flush that down the toilet. They're going to use that somehow to refinance uh, and, and stay in that house. You're not going to have this wave of foreclosures that's that's being talked about out there. But right. and, and, and please don't go buy into some program, some guy's real estate guru program and pay him a bunch of money to tell you how to buy foreclosures because there just aren't going to be that many. Right. And they're, they're not legit. If there are foreclosures right now, they're selling to cash investors. It's yep. just, it's not possible for your average buyer to pick up a foreclosure right now. There are no deals for buyers right now, other than an extremely low interest rate, which works to your advantage in so many ways. Yeah, for sure. 2. I can't 8. say that enough. I mean, it's, it's, do it. Let's get going here before yeah. it goes crazy. What's, what's the highest interest rate you've seen? Highest? Like ever. Oh, ever? Bought your first home. <laughs> mm, I think my first home, we bought that in the 90s and uh, it was in the early 90s. And I think our interest rate was like nine, something like that. Yeah. So triple what it is now, more than triple. And, and I remember when they dropped to six, we refinanced. You know, I mean, yeah. it was, <laughs> and we just, I was high. Yeah. Yeah. My parents talked to me about the 80s when the interest rate was like 16% and it was great. Mm -hmm. um, so 
So 2.8, 2.5, I saw 1.99 this week. Like that is legit free money. So if you guys have- hmm? It's not even a good tip. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, if you guys have questions, reach out to me or Kyle. There's, there's so many ways to help both buyers and sellers win in this market. I love creating win-win situations for both sides of the transaction. So reach out. I mean, this, 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 this is the perfect storm right now. It truly is. So, um, we're prior to an election. We're probably prior from getting locked down again. We're overdue for recession, which does not equate to a housing crisis. Please keep those things separate. Um, so reach out if you have questions about buying, selling, investing, whatever it may be. And, uh, I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Thank you.